and we're live from Hannover Messe. I'm really pleased to say we're on the Verizon booth and Mike is going to show us and demonstrate to us what we're doing here together with Nokia from a demonstration perspective. So Mike, from a business and customer benefit perspective, what are we showing here in this particular demonstration? What we're showing here is some applications that can be used on a 5G network. Uh, Verizon is a wonderful partner of ours and they are selling 5G networks and are deployed 5G networks for us in the private environment. So uh, we'll show a few use cases. Excellent, really looking forward to seeing those. Hi, I'm Mike Azur with Nokia. I'm here at Hanover Messi 2022 and Nokia is participating in a demonstration in Verizon's booth. We're here today talking about private networks and we have five illustrations for worker safety, how a private network, a private 5G network, can benefit an enterprise. So I'll take you quickly through our demonstration. Our first worker safety demonstration involves video analytics for a worker. In this particular case, we have this worker here with a yellow vest. His yellow vest is equipped with a number of sensors. It's equipped with a wind sensor, a temperature sensor, a geo sensor. In this particular case, we're going to demonstrate video analytics. It's very important from a worker safety perspective that this individual wears his helmet. With many cameras supported by a private 5G network in an environment, in an enterprise environment, we can deploy video analytics to show that this individual has removed his helmet. And when that happens, he's alerted that he's removed the helmet. And furthermore, if he doesn't replace his helmet, he can, be, he can ha receive a push to talk uh, discussion from his safety desk. So that is our first demonstration. Our second demonstration is a worker in a mine environment. As you can see, many workers go to a mine environment, and in mining, there are certain areas where individuals are qualified to work. Uh, for safety reasons, for qualification reasons, they're relegated to those areas. Here we're demonstrating a geo sensor on the vest over a private 5G network where it would contain a person in a certain geofenced area. If that person were to leave that geofenced area, an alert will be sent to him, as well if he doesn't return to the area, his safety desk can do a push to talk discussion with him. Our next is an illustration of using private wireless, private 5G in a port environment. As you can see, in this rather large port area, it would be close to impossible to cover that entire area with hundreds and hundreds of access points. With just a few cellular radios, we can cover that area and we can enable a number of applications. In this particular environment, we're talking about push to talk and push to video. However, it could be anything from scanning, uh, productivity, asset tracking environment. It would be very, very, very helpful to have full ubiquitous coverage across a port environment. Our fourth demonstration is a worker safety and utilizing our sound sensor. So there's a sound sensor, and in this mannequin, uh, these sensors are live. You'll see as we demonstrate here, you'll see a spike in the sound, and that'll illustrate that this individual, as you can see, is too close to a jet engine, and that sound sensor picks that up. Whether he's too close to it or he's been there too long, he'll get a notification from his safety desk uh, to move out of that area. Our final demonstration is using a temperature and a wind sensor. In this environment, you'll see an individual working on a telecom tower. And as wind starts to pick up, as it just did right there, or the temperature drops, and the employer deems that it is an unsafe environment to work, the individual will be alerted that it is unsafe and he should climb down from the tower. So those are the five scenarios that we're showing over private 5G networks here at Hanover Messi.